Okay, I'm Frank, and I'm here with another TriCaster tip, and this is one that's pretty commonly asked. How do I export recorded media that I put into the TriCaster on the D drive out onto an external drive? I'll show you real quick. It's not that hard. Take a look. Uh, so we're going to find what you already recorded, and we have some here. I got this one here. It's called Test Record, which we did previously. Now I'm going to show you how to transfer to a uh, external drive. I already inserted my external drive in the back of the TriCaster. So that's already there. Make sure that you have one, preferably USB 3 uh, drive if you have it. And uh, it's already plugged into the back, so now I'm going to show you how to transfer it. Now you'll notice up here there is an export tab. However, I'm going to show you an easier way to do that. So once you're finished with your session and everything's recorded, what you're going to do, you've got to go to File, and you're going to exit. It says you want to exit. Yes, I want to exit. So it's going to take us one step back. Now, in this page, we're still in our session because, it's, look, it says TriCaster Training Video. That's still the session we're in. Now I'm going to go Manage. Now, on Manage, I'm going to select Clips because it was recorded video. And it is my D drive. And I want to show you if you open it up and it looks like this. So here's your D drive, which is the drive that's in the, built into the TriCaster. So what you're going to find it as, you're not going to go to media or live, you're going to go to sessions first. So I'm going to open up that. Then I'm going to go to the session that I recorded the video on, and it's under TriCaster training. Click on that. Now I'm going to look at clips. I click on that. And now here's my capture file. So I'm going to click on that. And there is my recording that I made. So the easiest way to transfer it now is if you look down here in the browser, it says removable disk. And that's the disk I have plugged into the back. All I'm going to do is click on this, drag it over, and drop it onto my removable disk. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to copy it? Yes, I do. I click Go. And then the little copy window uh, comes up. And depending on the length of your video, it may take a little while. Uh, this is a really short video, so this is actually happening rather quickly as we speak. It usually it takes a little bit longer, so make sure you give yourself enough time if you're in a if you're in a rush to get that video onto YouTube or your web page or whatever you're going to put it. Okay, there it is. It's done. It's in there. Now let's take a look. I'm going to open this up now. I'm going to look and say, oh, there it is. There's my test record. There's the date. And there's the size of the file, and it's a QuickTime movie. So I'm going to close that. So at this point, you can decide what you want to do. Do you want to continue? Uh, do you want to exit? If you want to exit, you're going to go here. If you want to go back to the TriCaster, you're going to go back to Live, which says Live. Click on that, Start Live Production. And this is going to take you back. And, and now we're back to the uh, TriCaster session. So you can either exit if you're finished, or go back. OK, hope that, uh, hope that seemed as simple as I thought it was. So thanks for watching. Audio jungle.